Let's talk tablets, because if you clicked on this video, you most likely want to buy a new tablet, but you have a dilemma. You don't know which tablet is the best, which one should I buy, but luckily, you found me, and I, I'm going to help you make an intelligent tablet decision, so sit down, enjoy, like the video if you find it somewhat useful, and let's get into this. So the basics, what size tablet do you want? Because when we talk about tablets, there's two main classes. One is the full-size tablet, and that is about a 10-inch display. And then the small tablet, which is about a 7-inch display. So you have to pick between what size tablet do you want. Do you want a big display or a small display? And the big display is the best if you want to keep the tablet in the house because it's the best for watching movies, playing games, being on the web. But the small tablet is the best if you want to leave the house and put it inside of a book bag. So each of them have their advantages. Now moving on, I have composed a list of what I think is to be the best tablets in each of the class. So I'm going to give you the top two tablets in each of these classes. Uh, so it's kind of opinionated, but a lot of people will stand behind me because these are kind of known to be the best tablets as of now in each of the classes. So in the full-size tablet, the 10-inch, there's the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. That's a fantastic tablet, and it has to be the new one that came out just a few months ago. It looks a lot like the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, the same design with a new plastic back. And the second one is the new Apple iPad 5th Gen. Both the tablets are flat out amazing. I'll get back to them in a second. But in the second class of tablets, the small one that's about a 7 inch, uh, the best tablet in this class is the Google Nexus 7, the new one that came out in July, so a few months ago, and the new Apple iPad Mini, second gen. So these are the best tablets in each of the class. It's kind of opinionated, but once again, it kind of is well known that these tablets are just the best. Now, I'm not going to be giving you guys specs and say which tablet is the fastest at this and that, because as of now, with these tablets, they all have amazing specs. You're going to have no lag on any of these tablets, opening applications, playing games, anything like that. All these tablets are blazingly fast. And same with the display. All of these tablets have the best full HD displays. You cannot see any pixels on any of these displays on any tablet. So when it comes to specs and the display, all of them are flat out amazing. So when making a decision on which tablet you want, once again, the size of the tablet is a huge thing. You have to pick what size tablet you want. But in each of the classes, th there's two big things that separates the tablets. And one is the build quality, so the design of the tablets. Apple, on, in both classes, they have a full aluminum unibody design, very thin, lightweight, and it's just an expensive feeling device, which is a huge bonus. And the Samsung and Google Nexus tablet, they're both made out of plastic. It's not bad, but the Apple iPads made out of full aluminum, they just feel so much better in the hand. So the build quality is definitely something to think about when buying these tablets. And the second big thing is what OS is on the tablet. So we all know with Apple, it has the new iOS 7, which is simple but effective. And the other tablets, so the Google Nexus 7 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, uh, they both have Android and both of them have a lot in common, the OS's, but Android is customizable. Both of these OS's have advantages and disadvantages. So we all know that iOS 7 is simple to use, it looks good, but you can't fully customize it like you can with the Google OS. Because Android, we know that we can customize it. It has good multitasking, especially on the tablets. But it's not as smooth and good looking and easy to use as iOS 7. So that is definitely something to think about. I use both OS's each day because I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 as a phone. And I have a old tablet that I use each day. So I use both OS's. And I like them both equally. 
because on my phone I can customize it, put widgets on the home screen, but iOS 7 on my tablet is smooth, it looks good, it's simple, and I enjoy both of them, so it just depends on what you want in a tablet. So with all that said, that is all the info that I have to give to you guys, and I hope that it actually did help you guys in making a decision on what tablet you may want to buy. Uh, so basically, what size do you want? Do you want a full size or do you want a small size of 7 inch? Um, what design do you like? Do you like the aluminum and expensive feeling device? Or do you not mind plastic? And what OS do you want? Do you want the simple iOS 7 that gets the job done? Or do you want something that's customizable like Android? And also the cost of these tablets. If you want a cheap, good tablet, no competition. It is the new Google Nexus 7. That tablet is cheap and it's amazing. That's all I have to say. And we all know Apple is expensive, but you do get an expensive feeling device in the hand when you buy it. So it's all up to you. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a like down below. It helps me out a lot. And I hope that I helped you out a lot. And if you're still watching, you might as well subscribe too, because it makes me feel good on the inside. And I'll see you fine people in the next one. Bye!